Hello, this is Bryant Myers, author of PMF, The Fifth Element of Health, and I'm going to do a real quick video rebuttal to Dr. Truat, who did a very unscientific and sloppy video showing supposedly that the IMRS 2000 and the Beamer has electrosmog, when indeed neither of them do. And if you notice at one point in his video, and I'm going to use the same meter that he used, he, no he noticed that the field was getting stronger as it got further away, which if you know a little bit of physics, that's impossible. Fields cannot grow in strength from the source. They always diminish or at best stay the same. Um, and, and typically they always diminish with distance. So right now the IMRS is turned off and we're going to do a baseline. You can see there's about a one, a 0.1 to 0.2 you know, in the room. You know, there's a little tolerance here. We're seeing 0.1, point. Now if I put on the thing that Dr. Truot used for the QRS, it's going to show zero. Okay, the reason I'm switching to the the extra decimal point is to get a more accurate reading. Um, so that way we're going to see every decimal place. Now let's turn the unit on here. So remember, point 0.1 to point 0.2 is the background. Okay, so point 0.2, remember we got point 0.2 even with the unit turned off. Okay, point 0.3, point 0.2. So again, point 0.1 is a very, very small amount here. So with the background noise in, uh, taken into consideration, the fact that I am using a phone to record this, there's a little bit coming out there too. Now I'm going to put on the highest intensity level. Okay, we're going to press start. It's on the highest level. We're still getting 0 0.2, very, very low, 0 0.1, very low reading. Okay, there's just no electrosmog coming out of here. Um, now we put this on the mat, you can hear the pulses, that's the higher harmonics of the IMRS, and I'm going to put, this is on the highest setting now, I'm going to put it on the magnetic component here, I'm going to use the tri-field meter also, so you can see zero on the mat, and this is on the highest intensity, okay, I'm not, this is no smoke and mirrors here, I have the full body mat going at level 400, and, and I'm going to put the tri-field meter Okay, the tri-field meter, that's measuring the magnetic field in, um, in milligauss, so that's a very low intensity. So because the mat is 70 microtesla, it's going to go all the way to the top um, if I put it to the... So anyway, so you can see this is the, the waving of that needle is the magnetic field. And as I did a calculation, even one foot above the mat, you're still getting um, over 10% of the field or more. So you can see the IMRS field, and this is just kind of demonstrating that the field, there's plenty of intensity in the IMRS to go all the way through to dispel the myth of those high intensity companies. But that's not the purpose of this video. So again, this is not electrosmog. This is just the magnetic field that I just want to show you and prove to you that the mat is turned on. So that way you know I'm not rigging this experiment with turning the mat off or not having it plugged in. Okay, so with the mat clearly turned on, you can see the needle bobbing, no smoke and mirrors. The zero, okay, I'm putting the point one, zero point zero. That is no electrosmog. Okay, so if anybody has any questions on this, feel free to contact me directly. 941-928-0124. Um, because Dr. Truot's test was totally bogus and unfair to both the IMRS 2000 and the Beamer. It was a bogus test, probably done in a room that had a lot of electrosmog and should be discounted. Again, especially when, you know, when he was taking the unit away, the field was getting stronger. Okay, you know, it doesn't make any sense for the field to get stronger with distance. Absolutely no sense. It's a physics impossibility. So hopefully this puts that to, to rest, and feel free to call me, 941-928-0124, if you are looking for a PMF device and if you're confused because of that Dr. Truot video. Okay, thanks. Hope this was helpful, and have a nice day.